So, hello everyone. Sitting here with one of my clients, Helen Jacobs, and just going to go through, um, just going to go through everything that she's really been through and, and how we've managed to help her. And so, I'm just going to be sitting here today, asking her a few questions, just about how she's got on in our program, what what she's uh, what she's achieved, and, and where she was beforehand, and what she's actually or where she's actually now in terms of her health. So, yeah, without further ado, here's Helen. Um, and um, just want to ask you a couple, a couple of questions, Helen. So the first one was, what were you struggling with before you came to us? Um, There's quite a long list. Quite a long list. Yeah, I hadn't slept at night for a considerable length of time. Right. And that was having a serious impact on the rest of my health. I had achieved quite a high standard of health before I contacted you. Like, um, I'd overcome several illnesses but there were still things like i had insomnia my hormones were raging out of control i had skin rashes um, i was growing a beard <laughs> for a woman that's not yeah. very pleasant um i felt like i had a, quite a testosterone filled life a lifestyle my patterns were very male feeling orientated and i, I wanted um some other balance and also there was um gut issues yeah um, I have shortened bowels uh, because they were surgically removed basically and yeah. so I haven't actually up until the point I contacted you I hadn't actually used the toilet properly um, for years maybe you're saying yeah yeah so and also my sweat glands had stopped working back in 2012 or so and so I couldn't regulate my body temperature either so I was either like ice I mean you could touch me and I'd be frozen or I'd be boiling, boiling hot, but no, no sweat or anything. So I couldn't actually regulate my body temperature. Right. And then my brain couldn't tell the difference between hot and cold. Everything felt cold to me. And so I'd be in danger zones going towards the cooker. I burnt my stomach quite badly once because I was leaning uh, and, and the grill was on and I didn't yeah. realise. And I didn't know. It just felt cold to me. And so my brain wasn't, you know, I was, I was a... You know, a conundrum yeah. of various things. Bit of a frog in a blender. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got, you got to a certain level, but you still had quite a lot going on. Yeah. So what impact was what impact was this having on your life? Like, what wasn't you able to do? In what ways did it impact you, like, feeling like that and having the issues that you had? Well, I was avidly training to be a public speaker and presenter, and I'd already done quite a bit of television work. But every time I got involved in anything, it would work me out. I'd have to go to bed and stay there for you know, quite some time until I recovered. Yeah. It wasn't that I was mentally fatigued, although that was a huge part of it, because I did, I did used to get brain fog afterwards. If I'd focused my attention on something, I'd then have to take like a week out to recover. Yeah. And I really wanted to not feel like that, because I was in, inspiring people to take up exercise and have their you know, really, really changed their paths. Mm -hmm. But I was unable to sustain it myself. Although I was doing it, I, like I said, I had to keep regularly taking days out to, to rest. Yeah. And I didn't want to be like, I didn't, I just didn't want that life. Yeah, you wanted to, yeah, you wanted to be able to just be, live a normal life and had energy to be able to do things. Yeah, yeah, I felt like I was on a yo-yo. Yeah. I was on a yo-yo string. So I'd be really, really good, really, really healthy and buzzing uh, for a few days. Mm -hmm. And then, more days not so i wanted it to be so, i wanted yeah, I think to shift it would, i wanted it would to do the shift take it, it would take because i knew i could do loads of stuff okay. i just didn't have the health to back it up and i knew there was an underlying there must be an underlying reason for this i'd taken it so far and yeah. i wanted to go straight through the the barrier yeah and you know so so what what was the the turning point that made you contact us and made you get in, you, you get in touch with myself you specifically yeah um i've been following you and we've been friends online for a good few years before that mm -hmm. and quite a lot of inf i mean they say that you know you're you're the people you spend the most time with and i had been programming my mind listening to the stuff you were putting out there and the guests that you had on your shows and it really did have an impact on me and i started to reprogram my mind in that way like yeah. thinking well this this is makes a lot of sense to me the, the things that you were putting out there and, and and the way that you put them out there it's like you spoke my language okay. you were very direct i didn't need imagination to understand you 
the information is there. I can embrace that information and apply it to my own life or not. Yeah. And so I wanted to hear things from the horse's mouth. And so I contacted you to ask you, um, I've got this problem. Yeah. And this is what this is where I want to be. Yeah. And then we started working together, and my life completely changed. That's awesome. So I mean, just just before, because I mean, you said that, which is which is great. I'm glad we could be part of that. Um, but like, so we you contacted me. We had a chat on the phone. I uh, laid out like the, the program we'd be going through. Was you was you skeptical at all before doing the program? Not at all. Oh, that's not uh, at all. There. That that's that's good. It means I've done my job beforehand. <laughs> not so, at all because. It wasn't that you'd sold me anything because you didn't sell me anything. That wasn't it. It yep. was because I had already been studying all the information that you'd put out there. Right, yeah. You probably so might have seen the results where I was as well. Going. Yeah. yeah, I already knew the direction I wanted to go in and what I wanted to achieve. And I knew that you were already out there in the place where I wanted to be. You know, you were already so ad advocating what, that. Okay, so what I'd say to you, from the, from the, what I'm going to add in another little question is, from the time that you become friends to the time you actually got in touch, what was the difference? Why didn't you get in touch sooner? I was already following lots of Different protocols. Right. Um, I had done, I, I, ha I actually had terminal cancer mm -hmm. when I first started following you. And obviously that's, you know, yeah. that would blow up most people's yeah, brains. It's a big, yeah. But to me, it was like, I knew that I wasn't going to die. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I was repeatedly told that I was, I knew that I wasn't. And so I did a lot of things to push that back yep. before I contacted you. Because I, I know that following any program, you have to have the mindset. 100%. And my brain was all over the place before. So I wanted to wait till I was fully centered right within right myself. Right. And I knew which direction I was going in. Perfect. Because it's all very well to say, oh yeah, I know I'm going to survive. But then what? Yeah. You know, because a big hurdle for me was well, once I once I met, was making it, I thought, now what? You know, and it's a, it's a minefield. There's so much yeah. information. The market's uh, completely saturated. It's a big, big, big minefield out there. Yeah, there's lots of yeah, there's lots of say obstacles to yeah to weave in between and to try and find. And that's it's really nice to say. Like, I spoke to you, spoken your language, speaking your language, talk something that we try and do quite a lot. So just because um, it's you said before that people like to try and baffle people with all this science and stuff out there a lot of the time, or just try and market things. So it's quite nice you say that to try and cut through all that. Well, seriously, seriously, in plain terms, I'm a very direct, open, authentic person. I don't appreciate somebody framing me. And trying to hook me into something yeah. that I just don't need, yeah. and so uh, working your way through all the volume of information that's particularly on social media, it can be a complete minefield. Yeah. And then there's you putting stuff out all the time, and it's like, oh, I like that. Oh, but I like that. Mm. Oh, well, that makes sense, you know. And then it, it was, it was just, it was no brainer for me, absolute no brainer whatsoever. Making sense is, is uh, it helps, right? So. So once you started the program with us, what results did you experience? Pretty much within the first week, my bowels. I, I went to the toilet one day and I literally started screaming out to the kids like, um, something's happened, <laughs> you know, and it was, it was just amazing. It was amazing because I didn't have the runs. Yeah. I wasn't in pain. And it just felt so good. It just felt so good. Yeah. It was. It's hard to put it into words, but it was like when the first time it happened, I thought something was wrong with me, and I think I did contact you and say you did, something, yeah. something, something happened. <laughs> Only people with um, gut issues or bowel problems yeah. understand the, the pleasure that can. That so can IBS pretty much disappeared within yeah. the first week. Within the first week. Within the first week. And that's awesome. Um, Following the instructions to the letter. Yeah. And being open with you as well, because I think part of this. Um, Team is teamwork, isn't it? It's because if I'm not open with you about every aspect of, of things that I'm feeling and, and going through, then you can't tell me. So you were giving me specific instructions and I was doing them. Yeah, it, it's 100% teamwork. It's what where we work is like that. It's not just go away and do this. It's co constant communication. So, yeah. so we got. So you got you got better. Anything else happened? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the first time I realised that I actually had beads of sweat on my forehead. Sweat again. I thought I was getting ill. I really did. It was so freaky. I was sitting there going, what's this? And then my arm felt a bit funny and I was doing this and I was like, but no, it was phenomenal. Awesome. I felt so great. And then of course my menstruation has regulated. That's, it's yeah. on the dot. And, it's a big one. And it's just, 
you know, everything's just on the facial source. So we're just going to get cut in here because we just got interrupted by a call, but no worries, that's the, that's the uh, the greatness of having eye movies so you can put this all together. So you're just saying <laughs> you so you're I, saying your skin, your gut, your hormones every, were regulated. Every three weeks I was getting covered in sores on my face and then hairs would grow through. Mm -hmm. And it was horrendous. I felt ugly and it's not nice for a woman hideous. to have that, right? And it was quite painful. It was tingling all the time yeah. too. So I felt awful and I felt like I didn't want to go out and do stuff. And that was making me tired as well sort of that mental yeah, of torture, course, yeah. the mental side of that was making me feel really tired and I really wanted to be on stage speaking, yeah. sharing my story, sharing my experience of living with albinism, my, my genetic condition mm -hmm. of having no pigment yeah. and I really wanted to be in, the inspiring person that I actually am and, but I was getting so tired and I was getting bogged down. And, and these things meant that there were, there were physical issues and also yeah, and the, fa the facial hormones, well. the hormones that were causing my face to flare up was, it was quite soul destroying actually, mm -hmm. because I'd be out there doing stuff and then all of a sudden I'd be like, oh God, I have to stay in for that, I didn't want to be seen. Yeah, of course, yeah. I didn't want to be seen. I've been there before, I know what that's like, and so it's, a, it's huge. So, like, how did how did these changes impact your life? Like, what was the, what the difference did they make when you got all when these When I things? started to improve. When you started um, to improve, well, It was yeah. pretty much the, the first two weeks of the programme. It's a 16-week programme, yeah. Yeah. Although we've extended it for life, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 16-week yeah, programme. Um, so what so was the first two weeks, I noticed phenomenal changes. I could sleep, I had appetite. Whereas I didn't have any appetite before, mm -hmm. I could have take, taken it or leave, you know, taken it or leave it. Um, and my face was clearing up. My skin felt really good. I felt energized. I wasn't tired. My mental fatigue was really good. You know, I could focus on things for a very long periods of time. Awesome. And I felt amazing. I just started to feel full of vitality, exactly how I said I wanted to feel when I first contacted you, and I was like. You know, I, I want you to take me to this place, and then pretty pretty quickly, you know, I was there. And then there was lots of things that were coming up for me that were improving that I'd totally forgotten about because I had them so long it had become my level of normal. Yeah. That, so like that, pins that. and needles, mm -hmm. twitching legs, mm -hmm. all these things. When you ask me questions about what my symptoms were, I'd totally forgotten about these things because they just felt normal to me. Yeah. And so when they start, when when I didn't have them all of a sudden. During, it was definitely during the first month, pretty much everything cleared up. I, w I went through a phase where I was sitting on my bed thinking, but something feels wrong, something feels different, you know, something feels, there's something missing, have I forgotten something? Where are we and then I started to realise that it was because my legs weren't twitching, I didn't have cramps, I didn't have any sort of numbness in my fingers, I wasn't you know, I wasn't all over the place. I was actually feeling really oh, balanced awesome. and centered. It's just, it's great for you to, to, to hear that because people, people need to know like how quickly you can, the body can respond if it's given the right circumstances. And so what was... Seriously, I thought after 16 weeks, I'd noticed a huge difference. I wasn't expecting yeah. it would be so quick. Because obviously I'd been through other health protocols in the past. So what was different to what we did um, compared to... What, what's you different? tailored it for me. Right. You spoke to me and you you understood what I was saying. It was like we did speak the same language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You understood what I was saying. I didn't need to paint things pretty colours or anything. No. Like I said, you look Ryan, this is the thing. And then you said, okay, right, well, why don't you look at this? And I didn't even question because I know that you know your stuff because obviously I had been following you for ages. Yeah, trust. So I, I didn't need to question anything. I just needed to listen and go with it. So... Uh, the next question I was like to ask is like, do you think you'd be able to get these results on your own? Not f probably similar, but not not this great. Not as not quick. Not this great, and it would have taken at least eighteen months or two years for definite, without a doubt. So eighteen months, two years compared to four weeks. Yeah, yeah. And so because yeah. I had so much energy now, and people have been saying to me, and I want some of what you've got. Well, they know where to find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. People have. People yeah, have. No, no, it's People awesome. have. How did you get over this extreme exhaustion that you had? Because I really did have extreme exhaustion. I'd have people over to my house. I'd cook the dinner. I'd serve the dinner. Mm. And I would say, I'm just going to go upstairs for a few minutes. And they wouldn't see me again. So like the kids, my family, my, all my children are adults. They'd all be sitting having the dinner party. I would be asleep. Sleep, yeah. or, or I'd fall asleep mid-sentence talking. I'd literally be sitting there and doing this. 
So, like, having that time with your friends and family now is, like, Yeah, it's, awesome. it's phenomenal. So just not to be doing that. Yeah. And I was actually scared to go anywhere because I was doing that, because that was the norm for me. Mm -hmm. I was scared to fall asleep on the train or scared to fall asleep somewhere unfamiliar to me and then wake up because it has happened before. Yeah, and that would be people, and that's the thing, people seem to think it's just who they are. They don't realise that that's not how... No, extreme exhaustion. It was total extreme, and I mean extreme. I was falling asleep like on the toilet and all different faces. Really, yeah. Yeah, that's, it that's, was really yeah, bad. That's, yeah. And I kept sort of, my brain was like, but you're really healthy, you're not ill. And I wasn't suffering from autoimmune disease anymore. And I wasn't suffering from cancer anymore. But I was still yeah. going through these things. And yeah. so my brain was like, yeah, but what's wrong with you? You know, like... Yeah, 100%. Because I kept falling asleep and I just didn't... And then I, then I started to convince myself that I was falling asleep because I'd been through so much before. So that's why I left it and left it and left it. And then, you know, yeah. I just couldn't take it anymore. I was just like, no, no, this is no good. This is not going to be how my life's going to go. Yeah. Massive, and that's that's huge. And that, so like, if I asked you, what did you learn from doing the program? What would you say to that? Um, how to put myself first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, yeah. eighth, and the importance of that. I already knew a great level of self care, but this is a whole new level. This is a whole new, whole new thing because it's like, um, now. <laughs> Now I wouldn't ever do anything to jeopardise anything. Yeah. So you like so I wouldn't let anyone persuade me anything. It's like what well, you yeah. you put a video on recently where you were saying about uh, when you go out for a drink and people saying, oh, "Go on, just have one, just have one." Mm. And I'm like, I don't drink. That's it. So it's your identity. Yeah. So you, how you identify yourself with yourself, and that's a huge thing, like self love. Yeah, yeah, and it's how I carry myself, and everything's totally different now because I'm empowered. The program has empowered me to become empowered, yeah. like self-empowered. Self-empowerment has been phenomenal That's because awesome. I was always been a confident, direct person. But I, I did allow myself to become influenced, not easily, but I was kind of in in order to fit in. Yeah. And, and I don't need to do that. I'm I'm just me, and that's it. And I'd rather have my health. Hundred percent. And so, like, I mean, that's that's big. So if. For anyone sitting on the fence or thinking about contacting us and they haven't yet done it uh, about their health issue or their chronic, their chronic problem they've got, um, and that, yeah, so before they are sitting on the fence, what would you say to them? Just just do it. Just do it. Make, make contact. It doesn't cost anything to get a call from you no. to see which direction they, they want to be in because people were asking me before, where do you see yourself in 12 months? Now that's too big a question. I had no clue. I mean, I know now, mm -hmm. through working with you and doing the program, I know exactly where I'm gonna be in 12 months. But prior to that, when I was going through a lot of these symptoms and a lot of trauma, I had no clue. It's like, I couldn't even realize where I'd be at the end of the week. Yeah. It was too big. There's like um, a great quote, I was like, so when a man's got his health, he's got a million, He's got a million things he can do, but when he hasn't, he's got one thing he wants to do, and that's get healthy. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. So, anyone sitting on the fence, you'd say, just do it. Just contact, make, get a call from you, and just see, you know, because there is a huge difference in saying I'm at this point and I want to be at this point. Yeah, that's how everybody else is doing it, but you go straight in and say, okay, well, give it to me. Like in like, what's the biggest thing that's affecting you right now? Yeah. Is it how would you feel tomorrow if you woke up and that wasn't there? I think you did say that to me. Yeah. And I started crying because I was like, oh my goodness, if I woke up tomorrow and I didn't have half of these things, I'd be delighted. Because yeah, that is actually who you are underneath. That it became all. food to me. Hundred percent, and it's why we say, so, you know, when you've got a dream, you don't need a nightmare anymore, and that's actually who you are underneath all this stuff. We just have to get to the root cause of the issues, and once they're gone. And the, the problem's gone, then you can come out, the real you can come out, the yeah, ones have been out which, there. which has emerged. Yeah, which has emerged. And as you can see, people, you know, Helen looks fantastic, and her energy sparkles, like, you can just tell the health's been exuded through the camera. So, you know, listen to Helen, one of our, one of our, our clients, a fantastic client, and like everyone else, you know, if you're looking to get health, you get your health issues resolved, and get the results that Helen, Helen's got, um, you know, real results with real people, then just send me a message either uh, at ryan at reviveyourself.co or click a link somewhere around here and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But Helen, thank you very much. Thank you.